Welcome, everybody. This is the uh, Trader Genius Daily Review for March 12, 2019. I'm your host, Scott Patton. Joining us is Coach Rob. And what we want to do is just show you that pretty much every day, Monday to Thursday, there are opportunities to make, like we used to say, 10% in 10 minutes. And everyone thought that meant that they would just turn their computer on, uh, make a trade, and 10 minutes later, they'd have their 10% in the hour. It's not quite like that. It's, but, as you'll notice when you see most of our trades, the time we get in to the time we get out is usually under 10 minutes and usually between 8 and 12%. And then the ones that are longer are usually longer because they're 20%, 30%. And as we saw yesterday, way to go, Rob, 61% <laughs> on uh, Boeing, which was an amazing, uh, amazing opportunity, which happens from time to time, it's not something you can expect every day, uh, but it only happens when you're playing the game. In other words, when you're actually in the, you know, live trading and you know what you're doing. So it's really important that to be successful, that you have the right strategies, you have the right knowledge, you have the right amount of practice, you have the right coaching and mentorship to get you over the things that you cannot see about yourself that sabotage your results, and you have the right tools. And we have all of that. We have a 10-day free trial so that you can try the program. You can meet a couple of our coaches or one of our coaches and see if this is something that you'd like to pursue. So basically risk-free. And, you know, you need to have some money to be able to put into a, an account to trade would be the other, other requirement. So with that said, it is March 12th. Coach Rob, will we be able to uh, make some money today? Uh, March 12th was a pretty good day, and just just to your your point, those uh, the the free trial it does come with a contact from myself or or Coach Jay, one of the other coaches, and it's wonderful. So you don't need to have that money up front to fund your account. You just need to practice until you do get a system that works. Now, as you were saying, we we can we can teach a system that works. We have advanced coaching to get that exactly, but you're free to get in the replay simulator like you see right here and find your own entry and exit criteria. Sometimes you're gonna get those 61% trades like we did yesterday. And, you know, Coach Jay, let's just get set the record straight. Coach Jay is a dirty stock jobber and he claims that he has a 70% trade somewhere in the background. Now, I don't think that size matters, Scott, but, you know, he, he wants to make this a fight. Okay, fine, we'll have a, a feud going forward. Good feud the Coach Jay, I don't believe it. No, just kidding. On this day, the 12th, we had, uh, this, is, this is how the day starts out in the simulator. You take a look at your main list. You go, go a few minutes. We don't usually trade those first five minutes at 9.30 to 9.35 because the overnight trading is still settling. In this case, Google had a pretty strong start. So let's see how those first five minutes shape up before we make our entry determination. Let's see it right here. We're going with the automated candle sizes. So it starts out with one minute per candle. And you can see from the opening price in the first two minutes, Google's got pretty nice uh, volume. We traded Google yesterday, had a nice call, and it's starting off the same way. It had gapped up about $4 and it's continuing to get up there. It's hitting resistance and going sideways a little bit, but now it's starting to break that resistance. We got our blue background, that's called K-band that tint around the green candle, that's a good thing. The market's not quite supporting us, but Google is looking pretty strong for those first five minutes. So to recap, it shot up from 11.83 all the way up to 11.90, and it's starting to break out of that risk zone, which is this orange orange highlighted area. It's just risky, you don't wanna take trades in there. That's, that's just garbage, you can do better than that. So wait until something breaks out, like Google is here, and then execute your buy call using our replay controller right there. And we'll see what Google does for us. So we have broken for the high of the day, of course. It's early in the day, but we had some nice volume and it's a green move breaking out of resistance and above the risk zone. So we have three minutes, nice, big, healthy candle right there. That is, that is good profits. 19%, but there's nothing really strong telling us to get out right now. The market is nominally supporting our move. We're at a CLV of 97. There's not a big wick uh, at the moment. 
what I do see, and this is maybe the, the coach's tip for the day, just, just kind of do a little profit planning, not 10%, 10 minutes. You, you know, that's a little bit arbitrary, but in the moment in this trade, as you said, follow the trend, Scott. So the, the trend might give you 8%, might give you a 61%. It might tell you a fairy tale like 70 something percent, like Coach Jay will say. But in this case, what I'm telling you is we're at a big price point right here, or we're approaching a big price point. We're at 1197. 1200 is lurking. 12, the big round numbers are the ones you need to look out for because there's just a decent chance of a turnaround. It doesn't, it's not a guarantee it's going to happen, but in this case, we're looking at Google. It's streaking upwards, and there's probably some stock traders out there who are going to say, yeah, let me put in my sell order right at 1200 or they might try to beat you by a few cents to ambush you early. So this trend is unlikely to continue much further beyond this. We got some resistance uh, in the RB line here. We did peek across that, so that's nice nice for us. I'm gonna kill my timer. And you don't wanna wait around until it hits 1200 because there's a good chance of a turnaround. And we also have that blue star. So that just means some it went very powerfully in that direction. So that's a good exit indicator. Let's take our 26% and just have a great rest of our day. That was uh, 26% in about 10 minutes of work. So we talk about four hour work week, Scott. That'll do yeah. it right there. So let's go and see if it hit 1200. I'm always really curious. <laughs> That's all right. It did. It did oh. not turn around until, well, if you stayed in that long, God bless you. In this case, it did turn around on you pretty hard. and some folks took their profits <laughs> and left you hanging. But, but that's the, that's the perfect, that's exactly what you were talking about, right? You, you know, we said 1200, it was like probably 1203. And then that was like, okay, the bears now took over and you would have lost a significant amount of your profit. So I think I say this every time, Warren Buffett says he got in too late, he got out too early. So we got out too early because we were looking at that 1200 and that was a good reason to get out because we got the maximum amount of profit for where we were at, right? And we don't want to get the, you know, we don't want to get the perfect, like when you look back at, oh, it made it, you know, a top here. No, 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 that's never going to work. You want to get out a little bit early. You want to get in a little bit late because then the trend is established. And that's what I call the cream of the trade, right? Yes, and another way to look at it, the same thing, you're not looking for perfection. You want to get out too early rather than too late and pay the price. What that really boils down to, and maybe this is the, the coach's tip of the day, we'll get it, get it done on the first trade, is there's a tendency to put pressure on ourselves as traders to predict the future, as if we know what's going to come next in the candle. Now, you can get pretty darn good at it. You can generally you know if you if you do several thousands tens of thousands of reps you can start to get there where you're, you're like okay i see this forming and i know what this trend is but when you're starting out do not expect yourself to know what's coming next in this case we're not trying to predict the future we're just reading the situation as it is and we are adjusting accordingly so don't think you know better than your indicators listen to your indicators. They're telling you that there's a big price point approaching and there's a big blue star on your on your chart. Just get out. You can always get back in later if, if another trend starts. So listen to your indicators. Don't try to predict the future. Yeah, I, yeah. And I, what I would add to that is we are, it's like a chess game, but you don't see the other person, right? And there's someone on the other side that's saying, well, you know, I have a computer and I'm going to be doing this computer trading. And when do I want to get out or when do I want to sell at 1200, 1201 or 1202 or whenever, whatever the number, we don't know normally what that number is, but we know generally speaking that the bears look at, you know, something that runs up to 1200 and goes, Oh, that's too expensive. We got to take, or that's, we, that's where I'm going to be taking my profit at 1200 which means I'm going to sell, which means all of a sudden things turn red. So we don't have to be a genius to think, well, you know, what are the people on the other side doing? What are the people doing that have these computers? And, you know, a week ago they said, if it hits 1,200, sell, right? You, 
you know, it's not that necessarily there's somebody on the other side who's got his finger on the button. There's a lot of computer trading that goes on, and it just says this is when it hits, and this is when it's going to go the other way. And so you need to be cognizant of those things that are happening, the bears and the bulls, right? And I thought your timing on this was great. It's like you thought, you know what, we're getting close to 1,200. That's a huge number, and that's probably when this is going to turn around. So let's get out before because, hey, we've got our profit all locked up. Absolutely. And let me, let me just say, Scott, since you, you brought up chess, and I got to give a shout out to one of my best students, a wonderful man over in France. He teaches his daughters chess, and they just made it to the nationals in France. And he's a big chess buff himself. He explained to me the difference between closed and open games. So an open game is where you're very aggressive and you're offensive. And that is where, in, if you take that to trading, you can get greed and hope really souring your, your, your trading account. So start out with a closed game, which is deliberate, and you're looking for your opportunities, but you're not aggressively kind of shaping the situation. You let it come to you. So keep it close to the vest, closed game, and that, that helps protect your bottom line. Awesome. So this is the only trade today, right? Uh, nope, not quite. Ready to jump over to the next one. And that was a really good good discussion on that Google trade. I appreciate you going for that one. This was a little bit, uh, it's a call as well. It's Amazon. It, it comes at 9.51. So it's a nice, nice time in the trading window. 9.45 had come and gone. We're a little bit against the market, but we are at a CLV of 98. So Amazon's kind of breaking up for the day. It had a nice run went sideways, took a breath, and now it's renewing. So let's get our buy close replay controller and get it on a call with Amazon. And it does have a little bit of a march up. So there you go, it's it's peaking, it's checking 1680. So let's just be very cautious as it moves past that price point, but we did get a nice renewal of our K-band and a trend line's coming back online, breaking above 1680 there. Nice higher highs. We haven't busted that term out in a while, but the, the higher highs are on a green run like this, a bull run. Right here, this candle is closing higher than the previous candle, and it's just kind of has a nice stair step approach. And that happens with, with red trends as, as well. We call those lower lows. But in this case, we're all about those higher highs. Here we are at 956, sitting at 10% profit. And right there, double Y point. Trend's a little bit older now. I think that'll be it. Let's call it there. Take that nice 10% and put it in our pocket. Keep walking. And then finally, our old pal Boeing. It's had a, a rough couple weeks. It's been all over the news cycle. And, you know, we're not going to get into the moral and ethical things that are going on. We just know the chart either, the stock either goes up or it goes down. So the chart's going to be red or green. In this case, move back up just a minute. And at 9.56, I want to check out what's going on with Boeing. It had started the morning uh, up till about 9.45. It had been on its way up, and it hit a resistance line called the pivot. That's kind of the center between the resistance and the support lines. And that sent it going downward, sideways. And now we're really peaking down below the risk zone. Lots of volume. volume. Exactly. So great minds think alike. The volume has been there. We saw that uh, when we did the trade view yesterday on the 11th. And then last week when Coach Jay was breaking down Boeing very nicely, the, the volume's just been there because in this case, when it's got all this news going on around it, there's all kinds of buyer and seller sentiment. But in reality, nobody really knows what's going to happen. So until the stock shows you that it's going to choose either an up or a down direction, just stay out, stay above the fray, and only, like, like we talked about, play that closed game and be just very deliberate, be very risk averse, and wait for it to show you its, its cards before you jump in. So in this case, down below the risk zone, got that red signal, got our big Fantastic Four working for us, and it had just broken below opening price for the first time since 938, looks like. So this is a good time to buy a put. 
And you know, Coach Rob, you make a really good point here because there are people whose strategies are to watch the news, good news, they buy calls, bad news, they buy puts, or vice versa. Sometimes you get bad news and the stock goes up, but the that's their strategy. And that's not our strategy. So, <laughs> you know, our strategy is technical. When there is a trend, the trend is your friend. And we jump on the trend, we take the cream off the top of the trend, we get out before the trend reverses. And usually we'd make eight, 10, 15, or like a couple of days ago, 61%. And we're very happy with that. So we're not trying to get in at the perfect time. We're not trying to get out at the perfect time. We're trying to do what Warren Buffett taught, get in too late, get out too soon, and take the best of, and the less stress. I mean, it's very, you know, there's a lot less stress when you know, wow, this is an established trend, and you just ride it for, you know, two or three or four minutes or 10 minutes. And when it's obviously coming towards the end of the trend, you get out and you can enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah, and and the Amazon trade we just went over that you know nine that's a really really good day. You don't to be clear, you don't need sixty one percent. Don't set that expectation. Don't set that bar right. so high. On this one, we're gonna have a nice nice trade too. We entered on a put, but yeah, you you really can't control it. That's the key here is you can't control it. You just gotta let the trend deliver to you whatever it's got to give. So you watch it, you, you take its pulse as it's, as it's building, as it's running, and as it's ending. You just take the vitals of that trend and let it, let it feed you, let it, let it provide uh, sustenance to you for as long as its life cycle is. And then don't try to squeeze any more out of it. In this case, watch Boeing take, take off. It's, it's a mixed market. The minute log showing green right now. But Boeing had uh, another gap down, $15.30 on this day. And we're starting to get those lower lows, like we saw on the previous trade. This is the inverse. Uh, on the red, we're looking for lower lows. And the, the candle size just went up to three minutes. That's automated in the system. Kind of handy. You don't have to do any thinking. But this shows it even a little bit more cleanly on three-minute candles. We got some nice stair step going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's, uh, it's forming pretty nicely. We got that strong signal and the market started to turn around and support our move just a little bit. So it's backing us right there. Nice, big, healthy candle. Now, we talked about, if you remember yesterday, uh, the 11th Monday, we looked at 380 as a big, big entry point. In this case, it's, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm thinking as far as my profit planning. I'm thinking 380 might be my exit, something about there. And yep, right there. So we're just touching it. We got 24% in the bag. Let's not get greedy. Let's roll out and be happy with a nice long move. Summary for the day. Google, 26% in three minutes, 10% roughly on Amazon in six minutes. And then nine minutes, 23.9% on Boeing on a put. That's a pretty good day. And, you know, there's something that you said in today that I didn't think about yesterday, which is one of the reasons that we love day trading is at the end of the day, which right now is 10.05 in the morning, we have nothing at risk. Our money is sitting in a very nice, safe place. It doesn't matter you know, what happens to the stocks the rest of the day. And if you're in a if you're in a stock option overnight and it was Boeing and you guessed wrong, how hard would that sixty-one dollar drop uh, or not whatever what fifty dollar drop, whatever it was, that gap down, how much would that hurt you? And then today you just said there was a, another gap, you know, so if you'd reversed your position it went against you the second day. Like you could lose a small fortune. Yeah, it's, I mean, there's risk everywhere. You're right. But as I was saying, we don't have a ton of control. You got to let the trend come to you, but you can control, as you pointed out, when you're in a position and when you're out. You can always get out. And these, these are very, very good segue. Coach's tip of the day is check your main list. The system in, in both replay and live 
will pick the best option codes to trade for that day. And it'll sort it for you based off of the recent history of that code. So Boeing shows up a lot. It's highly liquid. If you're in this put, this put option, and no matter how many contracts, well, it's, if, it, if it's a decent number of contracts and not exorbitant amount, you can get in and out, no problem. So one contract, five, 10, yeah, the volume is gonna be there, but it's very liquid and you can buy and sell this thing. You can get out, you might have to take a small hit if you're, if you're bailing out at the wrong time, but that's far better than being stuck in a position, like you said, if it was a $50 gap down. That's right. So you're able to sleep, you know, sleep well at night, right? Because you don't have to worry about whatever's happening in the market and you're not paying attention because you're asleep. And that's one of the beauties of day trading. As opposed to swing trading. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Coach Rob. This has been an, an excellent day. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Just want to remind you we have a 10 day free trial. You get a chance to talk with Coach Rob or one of our other coaches uh, and learn about the software. It's important that you master the software, you master your self sabotaging behaviors, in other words, your mindset, whatever's going on between your ears, that you master your strategy. You need to be like uh, you know, a chess player and think strategic. And this, today and yesterday, I think, uh, Coach Rob, you really showed off the strategic reasons for making some of the decisions to get in and get out that you did. And I think uh, I really appreciate that because it, it makes it clearer for me and hopefully it makes it clearer for our audience. And our goal was to show you, that, as we did again today, that pretty much every day you can make... 10% or in this case, 26 and 24% in under 10 minutes of trading time. That doesn't mean that you won't be uh, you know, preparing and getting ready and there's other things going on. So don't like put the egg timer on for 10 minutes and say at the end of the last sand goes through, like I didn't make my 10%, Scott, what the hell? <laughs> you know? It takes some time and some effort and hopefully you're starting to see that this is a good, great tool with great training and can help you achieve your financial goals. So we look forward to having you become a member of our family. So with that, we'll say, uh, bid you all a fair adieu until next time. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye.